see some things on my lens. Might be time for a new camera. This is the Sony Action Cam AS20. Pretty inexpensive. Works great for what we do with lawns. Because it's got such a wide angle lens. It helps reduce the amount of times I have to stop and move the camera. Look at the weeds, man. Ugh. These weeds are crazy. Look at this. Well, we're going to take care of that. And uh, so we'll get it mowed. We'll get it weed eated edged. We're going to get the weed and feed down. Um, front, back, front. Front only. Maybe a little in the back. Maybe thin. Uh, she's got the same issue. A lot of weeds back there and dogs. So if we kill all the weeds off, then there's going to be a lot of dirt. And she don't have the money to put sod down and their dogs will just tear it up uh, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, just do a nice nice mulching job here we'll mulch cut it down get it all squared away what we're doing is last week was the cleanup for the season got everybody in shape this week we're putting the weed and feed down final little cleanup edging's nice weed eating's nice everything's nice next week in two weeks when we come back is when we start hitting some of the bushes we start cleaning up trimming all right a lot of the flowers are going to be off by then it'll be the first week of april or the last weekend in uh, march actually uh and that's when we'll tip these bushes and just get it looking nice and then uh from that point on basically um that'll be the end of march beginning of april so then the beginning of may every month every second cut basically nip the bushes keep them in shape I don't charge extra for it because I keep them in shape and it just takes two seconds to do the customers are happy in and out 40 to 45 minutes with a push mower too easy let's get to work You guys remember the time I had two weeks ago doing this yard? It was such a mess. And now we're just whipping right through it. That's another reason why I like to use the edger blade. If we used a weed eater, it would have been dummy edged. Now we just whipping through it. Water meter. That's a water meter.
to throw you for a loop. Now we're going to talk. Sharpening blades. So people ask me all the time, how often do you sharpen your blades? Well, when you're cutting grass, look at the blade. You see how it's cut pretty nice? There's just a few hairs on it. Maybe you can see that. Hopefully it's focused. That's a sharp blade. Now, if you were to whack this with a dull butter knife or a brick, that would be white frayed edges. That's when it's time to sharpen your blades. Or before that happens on a consistent basis. The next question is, how often should you sharpen blades? What do you, what do you think? Okay, so when should you sharpen blades? When you notice that the grass is fraying. How often? All right. Think about a lawnmower. If you bought this Honda mower and you're a homeowner and you're cutting your grass once a week through the season. You could probably go most of the season. Most probably most of the season uh, on one blade without having to take it off and sharpen it. Depending on what you're dealing with. How much soil you have on your, on your lawn that it's picking up sand and it's dulling your blade down. Leaves, chopping leaves will dull your blades, you know. Um, but pretty much a homeowner can go one year and then, you know, you, you, get, you get a new belt, you get a new spark plug, oil change, and you're, you know, you put your lawnmower to bed. Uh, next season you got a new blade and you're good. So if you do that, say eight months out of the year, say seven months out of the year, okay, if you have seven lawns, now you just increased, now you're doing it once a month. Now you see what I mean? Once a month you're going to need to sharpen your blades, basically. If you have 14 lawns every two weeks, um, check my math, but you see what I'm saying, right? A, a mower and the blade for a homeowner, a residential mower, or, or blade, whatever, there's really no such thing as a commercial blade. I mean, a blade's a blade. You've got different companies, but if a blade would last a, a homeowner a season, then if he's doing two lawns, it'll last half a season. If he's doing four lawns, it'll last a quarter of a season. If he's doing, you know, you see what I mean? So it's not un, unlikely or unheard of to take your blade off after doing two sessions of work. So once a month you do, uh, like for me, six, 12. So I do 12 yards. Uh, once a month, take the blade off and sharpen it would probably be ideal. Uh, so, all right, white frayed edges. And depending on how many lawns you have, pretty much just kind of do the math. Then you know what to expect.
A lot of leaves right here, huh? Let's get those squared away. Was, was that impressive for a little blower? Well, that seemed to do pretty good. You guys remember that 38 inch Cub Cadet riding lawnmower that was given to me last weekend? And it had the air gap that was uh, too big so the PTO wouldn't engage and I fixed it for free. And I said that we're gonna put this thing into service. Let's go ahead and put this thing into service today. This backyard's got a pretty decent size to it. And I trim mode first with my Honda. Let's see what this thing can do. What I'll do is I'll just stuff you guys back here in the corner and what the video gets, the video gets.
Hi, before you judge too fast, you see this type of grass it's cutting? It's like straw weeds. No matter what mower I would have used, my Honda, a zero turn, no matter what, this stuff cuts and it lays it down. So you got to come back with your deck to stand it back up and cut it the other way. And then sometimes back the other way. It's like a straw. That's what's all up there. So no matter what I did, I would have had to have gone back and forth. But man, I mean, I don't know if the deck is level because we don't have like nice grass here. But I know I aired up the tires and I mean, shit, I didn't walk it. That's a plus. Man, what a difference. It looks so nice now. Such a difference from two weeks ago. Uh, we got a lot. I put a lot of weed and feed down. A lot of this three and one. Uh, so I'm really looking forward. Let me, let me move back here so when I refer back to in two weeks, when I say take a look at the video from two weeks ago, this is, this is it. So, I mean, do you remember up here last year when I put the three and one down? And this was all full of chickweed. Now the chickweed's gone. Now it's just some crazy weed that I think is really just going to burn off. I think it's just a winter type reed or weed. But this, this grass is fixing to get very green very fast. Uh, I did her whole front and side and this side and back and this whole front right here. So front, back, side, front and that whole side over there. She looked really, really good. Um, so she already paid me. I got to invoice her. Uh, yeah. Starving. Let's go get something to eat and then we'll continue. Um, we got three more to do and we'll continue those on the next video. We'll pick that up eating lunch. Tell me about the whistles. The whistles. The whistles. The whistles. The whistles.